Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Second Seven. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. and an eclipse. This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures, I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. Full up, not carrying them. Twenty sixth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. 
I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light the end of days. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz... Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the dolorous path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way.
And under his wings you may seek refuge. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does this mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. There's a whole mural under here. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. That leaves young to have all that responsibility. It must be pretty hard for him. I can only imagine. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum luce habitus. Walk while you have the light. I'll need to move the cart to direct the light beam to the door. You have the light so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost.
Looks like the light activated something. This must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. I'll need to direct the light beam towards the fresco of Veronica. These people look like they were tortured. I don't think this was just a crypt. Is that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. I'll need to direct the left light beam toward the crucifixion scene. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. direct the left light beam toward the scene of Jesus being nailed to the cross. Jesus, nailed to the cross. disciple wall him in and then bang no witnesses
Only the hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. He was totally consumed by it. Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Lara, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed relentlessly. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. 
You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara? How many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Lara! Go! Stop him! change in our status, he'll tell us. Got it. Spanish Jesuit missionary Andreas Lopez, a member of Trinity, was dispatched to find and retrieve the silver box of Ishel rumored to be in Paititi. Instead of bringing the box back to the Trinity High Council, he confessed the theft to his old friend, the Emperor Paititi, Sinchichika, Unaratu's ancestor. Together they entered into a plot to hide the box from Trinity. Lopez went west of Paititi and founded the mission of San Juan, leaving a path of clues stretching back to Cozumel for Sinchichica's descendants to follow when the time came. But while building the mission and the deadly crypts below, the box's power corrupted Lopez's mind. He came to believe that no one was worthy of the power of the sun. He died alone in the dark, consumed by the power of the box. Handy for them. This is a heck of a place to live. disruption to our northwest. The situation is being handled. I say again, keep this channel clear. Rourke out. I hope I get to see it when they take it out of here. and Lara Croft was last seen in the church. Find them! They just left her alone in the church. It was chaos in there, obviously. But this is Croft. There was something more important to worry about. How did they expect 
expect to get away. Where are you? I'm in the cane field. They can't see me. Keep your head down. I'm on my way. All units, priority one. Find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. I should have killed you in Siberia, but Dominguez was against it. That's on me. But I'm gonna fix that mistake. Now. Hey, where are you? Oh, I don't like this. I swear. Hey! Did you know they're still rumming some of these barrels? For Christ's sake, Morgan, do your job. She's forgetting something. It's gonna cost her. Snap, I'm too tense. I can't shake this feeling that something bad is just around the corner. Croft is on the loose. She wouldn't stick around here. Let's go. I'll take point. Hey, where's Morgan? Oh shit, I was just talking to him. Everybody, Morgan's missing. Find him, now. Yeah, I can pull up. 
the heat of the tall grass is getting to me.
Jonah! Oh, God. Ready? Oh, yeah. I got it. I'm good. What the hell were you thinking? If I was you, it would have worked. They might not get far. Go. Go, we got this. How much longer to Pai Titi? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where's the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. Stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. <laughs> 